Hello. I thought I would just make a short video just showing how I've been using the Citadel contrast paints to paint up my War of the Roses models. I've been playing around with the contrast paints now for a couple of weeks and I'm pleased with the results I'm getting. So I'm using them on Perry Miniatures range and I'm currently working with this nice War of the Roses infantry set which makes up Longbowman and Billman and I've been very pleased with the results I've been getting. See if it will focus. There we go. So very basic paint jobs but I want to knock out quite a lot of models fairly quickly and uh, I'm pleased with the results so I'll just get these moved out of the way and uh, we shall begin. Right, this is the fellow we're going to be working on and uh, as you can see I've already undercoated him and I've used the Citadel Colour Base Coat Spray Grey Sear. So I've just given him an all over coat of that and the first thing we're going to paint is going to be all of the armour on him and for that I'm using Basilicanum Grey. So I'm going to give it a good shake. And I'm going to be applying this one straight from the bottle. So it's going to pick out the armour. Okay. Now I'm going to be using a uh, Gore Grunter Fur and I'm going to be picking out the studded leather parts of his armour. Next I'm going to paint the bow itself and for this I'm going to use contrast colour wildwood and I'm going to use Mix that down slightly using the contrast medium. So I'm going to take one brush load of medium and just mix in the wildwood. Now I'm going to use Blood Angels Red. And I'm just going to pick out the bits of the trousers that you can see that the armour isn't covering when you look at him from behind. Sticking with the clothing, I'm now going to use Militarum Green and I'm going to pick out his sleeves. Now I'm going to tackle the skin and I'm using Gilliman Flesh and I'm going to be watering that down again with the contrast medium. So again just going to get a load of the contrast medium into the palette, two brush loads and then mix in for this. Now it's going back to Wildwood again but this time I'm going to use it straight from the pot and I'm going to be doing all of the belts. And the pouches. Now just as a tiny splash of Black Templar onto the hilt of the knife. A 
Okay, those are all the base colours down. The armor's done, the bow is done, the flesh, and he's basically ready. I'm just going to wait for everything here to dry, and then I'm just going to give it a dry brush, and he'll be ready to be ranked up alongside the others to fight for the House of York. Now everything is dry, I'm just going to bring it all together by giving him a complete dry brush with Vallejo Deck Tan. It's going to be a very, very light dry brush, and this will just bring out some of the details on the belt, the paraphernalia, and in particularly on the leather armour, and it should bring out the studs. And there we have it. He's now complete. That probably took me less than five minutes to do. It's not a particularly complicated paint job. When you're doing the things with the Wars of the Roses, there's lots of liveries and uh, different color schemes that you can go for. And you just vary what you're doing with the paints of your choice. I found it very straightforward. He's now going to be added to my growing Yorkist force. And uh, I'm going to get on and paint a few more tonight. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting. And if you've got any questions, just drop me a comment or shoot me a message. Cheers.